What's happening peeps? It's BS here once again. We're into another Free Fall 6 video for the PlayStation 2. And this time I'm gonna show you my top favorite goals I had in my entire run. You know, playing this game. <clears throat> so without further ado, let's get started. This first goal is for me playing as Barcelona, which I believe was the fourth season, the fourth and final season I had. And the player we're seeing right now is Paulo Guerrero, a fellow countryman of mine. He plays as a striker for the international team. Or oh, Peru, of course. <laughs> but yeah, until recently his club was uh Hammenberg for you know in the in the German league, the Bundesliga. Or Bundesliga, I mean, <laughs> keep saying Bundesliga, Bundesliga, if that's how you pronounce it. A really bad pronunciation, a pronunciation by the way. But yeah. He recently signed in with Corinthians, you know, the Brazilian team. So it should be pretty interesting how he does there. But as far as my own season goes, he actually played a decent role. He was actually a substitute that you know I had to use him for emergencies. But I believe he scored like 10, 15 goals, so it wasn't really that bad. But when I really needed him, he actually did pretty good. He, he didn't get injured too much. And yeah, that's pretty much it. So yeah, as you can see, he made the pass to Messi, you know, young Lionel Messi, back when he was, you know, we're talking about 2006 here, so he was like, but like roughly 18, 19. Back in the young years, and he made the pass. Of course, he he was number ten in my team. You know, I try to make it partly realistic. You know, because of course he was the number ten the number ten jersey. But as you can see, this goal was actually pretty funny because he used he he kicked it from such a such a distance in such a way. You would think that it will actually go over the the goal, but instead it actually hits the post and it goes inside. But the most the most amusing part is the fact that it's the goalie. He wasn't even in the box, he was just standing outside next to the post, watching <laughs> as the ball goes in. I mean, I don't know what the heck he was thinking. And I should also mention that this season I actually played professional, so that was pretty humiliating for the AI. But anyway, that's it for that goal. Let's go for the second one, which is, you know, featuring Xavi. Xavi Hernandez, the Barcelona midfielder. And he made the pass to Claudio Pizarro. Which is also another countryman from my, you know, from Peru, you know, from, from my country. <laughs> now I'm saying it wrong here, but uh, yeah, he has a, he has a pretty actually more, more successful history than Guerrero. You know, when you talk about the clubs, he's played with um, Bayern Munich for about five, five to six seasons. He's been in Chelsea, of course. He, he started and of course recently came back to Werder Bremen, but of course once again he signed in with Bayern Munich just recently for the minimum of a year contract. So it should be interesting how he fare, he fares well with that team. You know, he's already had history with it. He says he wants to win the Champions League. But yeah, you know, only time will tell what will happen. But as far as international level goes, like at least to a recent point, he's, he hasn't contributed at all. I mean, that's that's, that's the reality. I mean, a, a lot of Peruvians are pissed off at him. He can't really blame it. For instance, for the qualifiers, he didn't even participate in one game. He only participated in a friendly, and that's it. I mean, we, we, we really needed him to help contribute for the team, you know. We were trying to make it, you know, trying to qualify for the freaking World Cup, and we, we hadn't made it for like, like, what, like 30, was it 30? I think it's 30 years right now, yeah. It's been 30 years we, we haven't even qualified for the World Cup. That's absolutely humiliating, absolutely uncalled for. I mean, it's really a piss off. But, you know, Pissarro didn't do shit. <laughs> I mean, to make it short, I mean, he didn't do squat, so I mean, we, 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 might, we might as well consider him, you know, a zero, because he, you know, he didn't do shit. But anyway, that, that's all I gotta say on Pizarro. So if you want to talk about Pizarro, talk about on a club level, not on an international level. But anyway, going to the next goal. As you can see, he, you know, he's going in by himself. It looked like he was about to do like a. A short pass, maybe a foley, but instead, you know, it bounces off the, the goalie, and then the defender gets his hands on the ball, and then the defender does the unthinkable. He tries to kick it outside, and instead, it bounces off the goalie. What an idiot! I don't even remember which team this was. I'm not sure if it was Sevilla or what, what other Spanish team it was, but. It was a pretty hilarious goal, but 
still uh, I would have expected better from professional difficulty which by the way I should make a note that I recently made a change to world class I will, I will talk a little bit about, my, about that later but let, let's get back to this of course we got Messi once again making the pass to Diego Forlan another member of my Barcelona team great contrib contributor he made like 30 something it was like 30 something to 40 goals one season he was even a captain for half the season because my uh, my virtual pro, which you're about to see him right now, he was the lead. You know, he was the captain. He was basically the goal scorer of the team. You know, he was like the the real Messi. You know, as you see right now, I made him. You know, the very best. He he scored like was like 90 goals one season. I wish I could have recorded that, but I guess, I guess right now it's make believe. But he's, yeah, he did score a lot of goals. He was the captain, but you know, Diego Forlan. Whenever my player was um, injured, you know he would step up and you know contrib contribute to the role. He did great, um, great crosses, great free kicks. His speciality were actually the long kicks, you know, like, um, you know kicks from long angles, you know, pretty much from that one. So in my opinion, he was a really good player. Now, unfortunately, I believe right now in the season, because I've already been through like nine seasons in the game, so right now the game is assuming that we're in the year 2013. So sadly, Diego Forlan, you know, as if you, you know, if you play the season mode, just like any other season mode, you will realize that as the years go by, the players get older. So I believe Diego Forlan actually retired in the game. Him and also Diego Lugano, you know, the defender from Uruguay, he also, he was also on my team. He also retired early. He retired like at 32, I think. So unfortunately, they both retired in the game, so I can't use him anymore. Even though I don't even play as Barcelona anymore this season, so. But still, it would have been interesting to face them. And yeah, as you can see, that was a beautiful headbutt by my virtual pro. And this is the next goal, which was also funny. The goal, you know, the posting goalie stops it twice, and his defender, you know, completely screws it up, just to get the ball out of the way, and it bounces off the goalkeeper. <laughs> and remember, this is all this in professional difficulty, so this is all shameful. But in, in world class, since I already played, I actually, I'm not actually doing pretty decent. I will do an update video on that, you know, to show you guys, you know, the difference. I will do that very soon, hopefully. But professional is an, an absolute joke <laughs> in the game. I mean, it's not even funny. <laughs> My God, that's what an idiot. But anyway, uh, yeah, that's pretty much what I gotta say on that. In a minute, you're about to see my, uh, you know, the, the next team. You know, this is a, this is another team that went in, you know, in future seasons. I'm just showing the camera angles right there. <laughs> yes, I'm on TV, and we won. <laughs> okay, here we go. Here's the next team right here. Schalke 04. Now this is of course you know for those of you who keep track of the Bundesliga you know who this team is I actually played with them for one season this was right after Manchester City because I mean for those of you who keep track of my FIFA 06 videos I actually did a, a walkthrough on that I did play for, with Manchester City for two years and after that I went with this club and one of the reasons I went with this club was because of the uh, was was going on currently one of my one another country fellow of mine who is also part of the of the Quattro Fantasticos, you know, the the, the Los, Lovana, Los Fantasticos, <laughs> however you want to call them, the Fantastic Four, you know, from Peru, which consists of, um, you know, Paulo Guerrero, Claudio Pizarro, um, what's his name, <laughs> Juan Manuel Vargas, and also the player about to see who's also on the team right now is Jefferson Farfan. All four of them, you know, supposed to be four, uh, you know, supposed to be four of Peruvian's best. And they're all in the European League, no, well, the European teams, <laughs> not the European League. But yeah, that's actually the reason why I, I signed with Chalk to try Jefferson for fun. And overall, he was actually pretty good. He was actually a good. Um, yeah, his, his expertise was the headers. You know, for instance, corners, free, um, sometimes even bounce and rebounds of free kicks. His specialty was the headers, so he, he did a lot of headers in the, on the season. He was also the top goal scorer. Goals, I can't even say it right. The top goal scorer of the season. But yeah, that, that was a pretty funny replay. 
Now going back to this next replay, this is the same player Sin, which is an ancient player who I believe doesn't exist, so he's like a virtual player. I signed him in with the team, he's actually pretty good, he's got good stats, pretty young. He's like in his early 20s. He's a really good striker. And this is what happens that's wrong with the replay. As you can see, <laughs> the ball is supposed to go outside the net, you know, right past the post. But instead it makes its way to the goal of the keeper's hands. I thought it was pretty stupid, but <laughs> it is actually pretty similar to a glitch that I believe um, I actually heard about in FIFA 12. Where the goal is, you know, they get the hands on the ball in imp impossible situations. So for those of you who play FIFA 12, this is definitely no, you know, this is familiar territory. And yeah, here we go, the final replay featuring, you know, my current team, Bayern Munich. He's one of my newest players, you know, one of my um, greatest strikers. His name is Galetti, he's from Italy. He's also pretty young. He's got, you know, crazy pace. You can, if, if you can even count that for this game. And here we go, here's my other striker, which is a really good one, my left striker, which is Delgado. I compare him a lot to um, to Manchester City's, um, you know, El Kun, Sergio Aguero. Because he's, you know, he's from Argentina, he's also pretty young, but in my opinion, he's actually got better stats than him. You know, we're, we're just talking about on paper, because obviously Delgado doesn't exist. I'm talking about this Delgado, you know, and I, I know I'm aware that there's another Delgado player out there. I actually looked him up, but this is a different one. So yeah, he, he's really good. Definitely a great contribu contributor. I also had him, um, what's his name, on my Manchester City team. I believe I mentioned that. I'm, I'm gonna see if I can post that link uh, you know, when I, you know, when I was playing with Manchester City. That season mode video I did. You're gonna see the list of players I have, and you should see Delgado. But yeah, I decided to sign him back because I, I really need a left striker. So I figured, you know, why not? I saw him on the market, so you know, I bought him. But yeah. Anyway, this video is about to end. So yeah guys, I hope you like these goals. Tell me what you think. Right now I'm debating if I should you know could, you know do my best to try to bring back the football you know football weekly, which is you know me and my thoughts on current you know uh, football news and all that stuff. If you guys want me to do that, you know comment in the comment section. If not, if you guys want to you know do like a season you know FIFA 6 season mode walkthrough, you know with what's going on with my team, you know with the choices I'm making, you know feel free to do that. I mean I'll, I'll be happy to do either. But as you know, the chances of me doing both, I mean, are really very slim. Unless I can, you know, unless I can try to do one on a weekly basis, and maybe the you know, next week I'll do another one. I mean, I, I could try to do that, but you know, I, I want to see what you guys think. I mean, want to see if I can, if you guys can give me some ideas. But yeah, back to this, guys. Hope you enjoyed this. This was your boy BS. There definitely will be more content coming on soon, so stay around. Take care and peace.